Okay, so in that last video, we um, created, we kind of manually created a stack view, uh, created an outlet, oh, where'd it go? Okay, created that stack view outlet, created an action, and we're actually creating, in this case, buttons at runtime. We're also randomizing the background color and the title of those buttons, adding them at runtime. So let's run this again. So yeah, we get these different, we can add as many buttons as we want, uh, but right now we can't remove them. So that's kind of what we're gonna work on next. Removing is also pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna click on that remove button, uh, control click and add a new action. Okay, so when we remove, uh, as you're programming, uh, we, we have to actually think about the different uh, issues that could come up, right? There's, maybe there's not many issues when we're dealing with adding because we're just adding something to an array. But when we're dealing with arrays and we're gonna be removing them from, removing something from an array, we wanna make sure we never remove from something, we never try to remove an item from an empty array. Okay, so the first thing we actually want to do is we want to check if that stack view dot arrange subviews, if the count is zero, meaning we have nothing in there, there's nothing in this stack view, then we're going to return. Okay. Otherwise, the thing that we that we do is we're going to get that view. That view equals stack view dot arrange subviews. I'm just going to get the one at the end. So so it's, all we're doing here is we're just indexing into that arrange subviews array, and we're just getting the last one, right? If it has four elements in it, count would be four. So we want to get the third index because they started zero. So zero, one, two, three would be that last one. Okay, so we're going to get that view and then view dot, we're going to remove that from the super view. Okay, so let's take a look and what, uh, let's see what that looks like. So let's add some and then now we can remove some. If we remove, nothing nothing bad's gonna happen because we've checked for that. We've made sure that we don't remove something from an empty array. So we can add, remove. That green doesn't look very good. Maybe the text doesn't look very good either because we can, don't have that many items or like the text is too big. That's okay. So we can add and remove things at, at runtime from this stack view. Uh, we can deal with other properties as well. So uh, that's why I already set it up. I have this orientation button. We can do that exact same thing as well. So we'll stop this. Let's actually uh, commit that code. Look at the status of that. So uh, all we really did was uh, add the ability to remove these items. So get add both of those and then get commit. So we want to change that. We want to change that axis, right? Uh, like the axis, the orientation. So how do we do that? We're going to create another action here. Let's give us a little space. Okay. So on orientation clicked. Okay. And so there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We'll kind of look at some, some different ways of code. So uh, the thing that we want to do, 
we could here's here's the the most basic way to do it right so if the stack view dot uh, axis equals dot horizontal then we know that stack view dot axis needs to be set to vertical else oh, else stack view dot axis needs to be set to horizontal okay let's run this see how this looks and then when we change the orientation right so you'll notice two things here uh, it, it is actually changing that orientation um, you'll notice that the text it's not just turning it all sideways uh, it's just the, the buttons are now stacked vertically. It didn't change the orientation of the buttons themselves. And you can see that because the text isn't, uh, the text isn't changing its orientation. It's just the, how they're arranged, how they're stacked is changing. Um, but you also notice that it's no longer, it, it might not be the exact behavior that you want because it's not, it's not filling anything, right? Uh, so if, if for whatever reason you wanted it to fill the the space we would have to change the alignment that just that wasn't what we picked before okay so i can add and remove and not much is going to happen there add a few more right change these so we can change a lot of cool stuff about that uh like i said we can do this there's actually nothing wrong with this code i just might change it i might simplify it a little bit and you can use the the ternary operator for that so just another way to write it. You can you can leave it how you want it, uh, or how we've done it right now. If you understand that, another way to write it might be just set it equal to. Again, we have that ternary operator, so the ternary operator works like an if statement. Ternary just means because there's there's three operators, right? So if stack view access access equals Horizontal, I can't spell. Dot. Oh. So if this statement is true, then hold on, let me write it. Okay. So these two statements are exactly equivalent, right? This this thing right here is actually setting as a the, as an if statement, it's just, it's setting it equal to this. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna, uh, ex or it's gonna, you know, try to parse this expression. So if the axis is horizontal, if that's true, then then it's gonna hit this dot vertical, or, or like vertical, right? It's gonna set that equal to. Else, so this is kind of like the, if the expression is true, do this part. Else, do this part. Okay, so that's called the, the ternary operator. Again, it works exactly like an if-else statement. So whichever one is more comfortable, uh, for something really simple, like an assignment, I might use this. Just for whatever reason, maybe I think it looks cleaner, a little bit cleaner than this. But you do have to be careful because this can be hard to, if you start making this line of code a little bit too complicated, uh, by like adding things more than just a simple assignment, then uh, you can start running into trouble. Um, or if you need multiple multiple statements or anything like that. So again, you can choose whichever one you want. If you don't understand this, that's okay for now. You'll see it more. If you prefer this, that's also fine. I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay. And then this function ends up being really, really small. So I, I kind of like that. Uh, okay, so uh, let's save that again. Git status. I always just, my habit whenever I open up a Git, something in Git, is I always just, uh, I always just check the status. So I'm just going to add these because I know what I did. Git commit. And uh, 
Okay. So added a nice little comment, push that. Uh, so in the next episode, in the next video, we're going to see, uh, we're going to learn how to change that spacing at runtime too. And we'll learn about something called the UI slider. So, so we can actually change it at runtime. All right. See you in that next episode.